How do you pronounce these two words? Are they pronounced the same way or are they pronounced differently? Keep watching to find out. Listen as I demonstrate. Beach. Bitch. Beach. Bitch. As you can hear, they're not pronounced the same way. But what exactly is the difference? Listen again. Beach. Bitch. Beach. Bitch. Both words start with the sound b and end with the sound ch. Also, both words are the same length. They both have short vowel sounds in the middle. In fact, if you watch me say the two words without sound, you'll see that there is no visible difference. In the International Phonetic Alphabet, these two words are written like this. As you can see, the vowel sound in beach is represented by this symbol, while the vowel sound for bitch is represented by this symbol. A lot of students make the mistake of thinking that the only difference between these two vowel sounds is that one is long while the other is short. However, as you have just learned, in the words beach and bitch, the vowels are the same length. They're both short. So the difference must be something else. In fact, the difference between these two vowel sounds is due to a small difference in tongue position. For e, the back of the tongue is pulled back and up so that it's almost touching the roof of the mouth while for i, the back of the tongue is in a slightly lower position, with more space between the tongue and the roof of the mouth. E, 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 e. This difference in tongue position is covered in depth in my new online course. This course includes loads of vocal exercises and real-life usage examples, so follow the link in the description to find out more. The reason that some people mistakenly think that the difference between e and e is a difference of length is that the sound e is sometimes pronounced long, while the sound e is always pronounced short. To add to the confusion, the symbol for the sound e has these two little triangles that do indicate that it's a long vowel. However, in practice, the sound e is compressed whenever it's followed by an unvoiced consonant sound. Unvoiced consonant sounds are sounds like p, k, and ch. You can hear this difference between the long and short pronunciations of e in, for example, the words bead and beat or seed and seat. Listen as I demonstrate. Bead, beat, seed, seat. Bead, beat. Seed. Seat. Now listen as I add the words bit and sit. Bead. Beat. Bit. Seed. Seat. Sit. Two other words that English learners have trouble with are sheet and shit. 
The difference between these two words is exactly the same as the difference between beach and bitch. Listen as I demonstrate. Sheet. Shit. Beach. Bitch. Now listen as I compare the words sheet and shit with the word sheed. Sheed. Sheet. Shit. Sheed. Sheet. Shit. As you can hear, sheed and sheet have exactly the same vowel sound, except that in sheed the vowel is long because it's followed by the voiced consonant sound d, while in sheet the vowel is short because it's followed by the unvoiced consonant sound, t. The word shit has a completely different vowel sound, the sound e. E, e, e. Sheed, sheet, shit. E, e, e. Sheed, sheet, shit. The difference between these three vowel sounds is one of the most difficult aspects of English pronunciation and demands a lot of practice. So I highly recommend that you enroll in my online course, The Vowels of British English. This course has 23 video lectures with loads of usage examples vocal exercises and quizzes. When you enrol in this course, you'll also get free access to my second course, the Vowels of British English Daily Vocal Workout, which consists of 84 vocal exercises based on the content of the first course. You'll also get a free 60-minute one-to-one lesson with me. Follow the link in the description to find out more. Thanks for watching and remember to like, share and subscribe.